guys, it's time for a new crafting tutorial. This time it's all about detailed foam armor. The good thing about foam is the fact that it is lightweight, flexible and cheap. So this was the perfect material for the knee armor parts of my new Jennifer cosplay. I am using 5mm high density foam for my armor pieces today. First of all I put my pattern on top which I already created in Adobe Illustrator. It's a lot easier to fix the pattern with scotch tape before we start with the next step. You can download my pattern at the link down below. Don't forget to tag me if you are using one of my free patterns. Now it's time to cut all the details right on top of the pattern. Make sure you start at the middle and work your way around. Don't cut too deep and try to make a fluid movement while you are cutting all the details. Remove all the paper which is already done, so it's easier to keep an overview. Your cutter knife should be as sharp as possible to create a solid look, so replace the blade from time to time. As soon as you finish the detailed parts, it's time to cut the outer edge of your armor piece. Start at an outer point, push the cutter knife through the foam till you reach your cutting mat and make a single fluid movement. After you cut all the details, your piece looks something like this. Not very pretty right now, so I use my heat gun to make the details visible. The longer you heat the foam, the bigger your cuts will get. If you miss some lines, you can cut them now and reheat the area again to connect the lines. After I heated the whole piece, I put it on top of an acrylic ball to get it in shape. Hold it in place till it is completely cooled down. I like to create nice and flat edges around my knee armor. So I'm gonna drill around the edges with my Dremel and a fine tip. Don't rush the step to create a soft edge. Now it's time to seal the surface. I use regular wood glue for that step. But you can also use Plasti Dip, Latex, Flexi Paint or Flex Bond. If you are interested how to prime Eva foam, check out the tutorial of Kamui Cosplay. I would highly recommend using a soft acrylic brush or a makeup brush for that step. You can also add some water to thin out the wood glue. Wait till the glue is completely dry and turns transparent before you start with the next step. I add some black acrylic paint first and cover the whole surface to create a nice depth. So the details stand out even more later. Make sure you don't miss any of those details lines before you start with the next step. Now it's time for one of my favorite products from PBO. It's the Gilding Wax in Silver. You just need a tiny amount of this wax to cover the whole piece. I like to use an old sock instead of a brush for that step. I rub the color gently with circular movements. Even if you just add one layer, the color is really intense. Our armor is almost done, now it's time for an easy attachment. I like to use velcro tape and attach it with super glue which dries within a couple of seconds. You can use a pair of tweezers to place it at the right spot. Make sure you don't get it onto your fingers. Press the velcro tape down and wait until the glue is completely dry. This is how the finished pieces look. They can be attached really fast and they are still flexible enough so you can bend your knees. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video. If you have any questions left, feel free to write them down in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.